Well, from the insurance side of the house, you know, they made some mistakes. We can just kind of lead in with that. I joke and I, I sort of say in those days of bliss, you know, 2018, 19, it was like Oprah. All the carriers were like, you get insurance, you get insurance, you get insurance. Because they thought it was like stealing candy from a baby. They thought that what kind of down market client could ever be hit by this cyber crime? This is stuff for Bank of America to worry about, right? Not for small companies. But you see over 2019 and 2020, a huge escalation. And COVID was one of the things that really pushed this up into the stratosphere because everybody's working from home. And we remember this story, right? The story of, wait a second, I'm not sure that all of these companies have done the right thing in protecting their business. They've just left RDP wide open to connect in. And then you see these ransomware attacks. We see a volume in, in tax going up and the cost of those attacks going up. The commensurate response for insurance is, well, maybe this wasn't as cheap to offer as we thought. And so maybe an alternative way to think about this is it's not so much that premiums are getting more expensive. It's that they're becoming more commensurate to the level of risk that's presented in the SMB sector, if that makes sense. We went from about $1.5 billion in, in premiums being written in 2020 up to 2021. We've, we've doubled that. We're at now over $3 billion. In other words, the volume has gone up. But the other bad thing is loss ratios have blown up alongside. And so the worst thing you can have in insurance is more and more policies being written, but they're not coming down in risk. Loss ratio is like, how much are we paying out versus how much we're offering? And to give you a good rule of thumb, let's take the auto industry. 10% is considered a fairly good loss ratio, right? In other words, 90% of what we write, we're not going to pay out a claim on. Keep in mind, insurance is in this for profit, you know, just like the rest of us. And so, and, and, and it's very expensive to offer insurance. It's not like, oh, they got 90% margins. No, there's a lot of things that go into that, the, the cost of insurance, right? Well, guess what cyber is right now? It's staggering. It's at about 62% the last time it was measured, which is unbelievably high. And it was higher than that. It was over 70, like 5% almost in about 2020 at the peak of these attacks. So it's come down a little bit, but it is still astronomically high. And so as long as we have a lot of insurance premiums being written for clients and we have loss ratios that are really high, it's out of your hands. It's always going to become more expensive, more expensive, more expensive. <music>